What's up with it, bro? What up, doe? How you living, Mike? Introduce yourself, let the people know who you is. What's happening? It's the God Y C Bay B E Y. You feel me? Y C Bay. That's me. Yes, Tap in. Er, let the people know who Y C Bay is, man. Hey, Y C Bay, the living legend, the God hustler of the year five times in a row, entrepreneur year round. Uh, shoot, a visionary, a righteous intent individual, applying major pressure on a daily basis. Hey, all yeah. of the books, Straight everything, up. you hear me? Yeah, <laughs> up. You say applying major pressure, man. Like, like, you really been out here grinding, bro. And like, like, as far as, like, I'm going to say, I know you do a movie, like, recently. You do movie, movies and you doing music, but I met you initially on a music tip. Right. And then, I mean, right. like I met you out there in Ferguson at the at the Family Dollar. You said <laughs> right, you at right, the time you right, was promoting man. your. He said, "Damn, <laughs> you was promoting your." Um, I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. You hear me? <laughs> Damn. That's the CD you had. You just put it. I think that was the only song on the CD. Right. Right. I'm lit. And I'm me. grinding like you saw me grinding in the streets and the elements. On me. The heat, cold. It was, it was it was hot too. It was a hot ass song. It was a hot ass song. Well, I used to be out there with the cold, you know, but uh, it was hot. You know what I'm saying? Turning non-believers into believers, and that's crazy. Like, and like I was telling you earlier, I get them stories from a lot of people at the grinding year after year after year. I eventually run back into these people, and they tell me, "Bro, I remember I met you, whoop whoop, over here, over there, over here." And then they see how I'm living now, the growth and the development. And uh, it's just the gift they keep on giving the people that supported back then to see how it came up now and see where I'm at. We still going. Well, definitely. You got down. You've been grinding for like years into this shit, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like, talk a little bit about like your music. Like, you was doing like performances and shit like that. Yeah. What, what was the, um, like, I think it was, was it Workhouse or something like that? I forgot like the um, shows you was doing. Shit, uh, I wasn't the production name, pro name of your production company. Work, Workhouse Films. Yeah, what my new movie that just dropped. No, 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 no. That was um, I might be saying it wrong. It was like the um, in the beginning where you was doing your shows at. Right. Uh, what the the clubs? Yeah, the club. Like Studio Six One Eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about it? Like um, how did you? Like, how was that experience, like, just in the beginning? Like, grind? Okay, in the beginning, that experience, like it is, it's, you got to be your own everything. You got to be your own manager, your own booking agent, your own investor, your own writer, everything. So, it's just it's so many things that go into play when you just hopping out there. But for the shows, that shit started off with open mics, me looking up shit on Instagram, Facebook, looking up the open mics, seeing where they at, uh, pulling up on them, scheduling them myself, pulling up, meeting everybody, killing it after I kill it. I get good reactions. I'm selling and passing out CDs to everybody, and I'm doing this process probably like two, three different shows a night. Yeah. Twice that's in the crazy house day. That's why I said workhouse films. You hear me? That yeah, shit? house that's house, you hear me? Damn, <laughs> been rocking with me that long. You hear me? That's, that's why I meant to say crazy house. <laughs> you been, damn, that's day one. Like, that's day one. Wow, I appreciate you staying tapped in too, oh, bro. Definitely. But yeah, YC, crazy house. Y'all can YouTube that video right you now. You was doing shows all out in Troy, all type of shit. Man, work it. You hear me? You say, wow. wow. You hear me? <laughs> Girls, tap <laughs> hey, much love, much appreciate it. Most hey, definitely. Straight up. Views from the arts, right? That's what this is? Yeah. Much love to views from the arts, from the God YC. If y'all ain't tapped in, man, do your Googles, do your research, because shit real in the field. You feel me? Most definitely, man. <laughs> I see like every now and then you doing like um freestyles on Facebook. I mean on Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, uh the music is what I really love to do and uh, I gotta let people know that I'm a lyrical assassin assassin with this music because I start getting more known for dropping movies. Mm -hmm. Uh like STL the movie, the St. Louis version of Minister Society, I play the old dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
doing crazy numbers. Then after that, the ATM Solutions Armored Truck Company heist that happened here in St. Louis. Real story. Like, <laughs> got caught at Walmart with the bank vans on the money trying to buy TVs. I'm starring in that movie. Then uh, Plastic Dreams, Dreams. Rug and Puff. You know what I'm saying? I'm starring in that movie. Then Hella Drossy. That's your own Hella Drossy. It's you. written by the God YC, produced by Nance, casted everybody, all that. Man. But I just say all that to say I start getting more known for dropping movies. So I'm like, man, the world needs to know I do this music too. So I had to let them know, hey, I do this shit so effortlessly. So I'm snatching people that made hits like the baby. Uh, Roddy Rich, I'm jacking they beats and I'm mm -hmm. murdering they beats. On some Lil Wayne out. shit. You feel straight up. I mean, they like on. one like recently you made like a um like a Black Lives Matter tribute or something. Oh like yeah, that. yeah. And the crazy thing about that, that's called Power to the People. Mm -hmm. You know, I did that for New Year's for this year. For the upcoming shit. year? No, nah, for twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Oh, you the did. End, you did the end of twenty nineteen. I, I did it. Yeah, I just reiterated it because it's like a lot of 2020 wrap ups. So I'm just reiterating a lot of shit okay. on my Instagram. But the crazy thing about that, I, some compelled me to write that for the new year. And right after that, the George Floyd shit happened. Mm. It's like perfect, perfect time. time if things happen at the right, per you hear me? It things happen at the right it time. Was wild. <laughs> it was wild. And then what I said in the power to the people when I was like uh yeah they got like I was talking about the hospitals give you meds but they won't give you the truth yeah they got the cure but they ain't gonna give it to you and right, I said right. that before COVID before COVID and then COVID here it's like damn I'm prophesying in this bitch they go that play, they play important like <laughs> like the like the Medicaid and like having real like health insurance, like that shit matters. Like you say, if you got yeah. Medicaid, like they they got the medicine. They ain't finna give it to you because you can't even afford it. You know what I mean? It's real, bro. Yeah, for real. And you know, that shit ain't really meant to cure you. It's meant to treat you. That's they, it. It's a band aid. It's about money. They don't. If they <laughs> cure you, the money they keep stops. You coming back. You know I mean? They gotta keep That's you it. coming back. Right? <laughs> so. Yeah, they got the cure, but they ain't gonna give it to you. Yeah, fuck no. Nah. The so cure. The mean. thing about people don't know the cure, you are, you got the cure. You hear me? Like in yourself, goddamn me. If you True. just goddamn me, take better care of yourself. Get your mind. Right. That's the thing. Your mind. Yeah. You get your mind right. Stop dwelling on that shit. That's what's killing you for real. Yeah. Dwelling on that whole harvesting that goddamn this negative is. energy. You hear me? <laughs> That's it. For real. That's it. You hear me? <laughs> real Man. talk. Speaking like this, this is just a man shit. You also got damn, you got like an audio book. Yes, dang, bro. Kind of the YC base. You hear me? Deal. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Audio book, written book out right you, now. You you doing the narration? Yes, sir. I'm doing the narration on some J Prince type shit. Salute J Prince. I look up to individuals uh, similar to that character. But yeah, it's called The Conscience of YC Bay. It's a book written by me, physical and audio, narrated by me. And it is about, let me put this blunt out, that gas, that pressure, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Y'all know what the fuck going on, you know what I'm talking about? All right, anyway, it's about uh, how I became a full-time entrepreneur, which changed my life. And it's about how sometimes going through the worst can bring out the best in you. And I wrote a book about that. You know what I'm saying? So it's a dope book. You should look it up. It's called The Conscience of Y.C. Bay. B-E-Y. Yeah. Yeah, it's dope as a motherfucker, man. Just to goddamn me put out a whole book. And like then goddamn me doing the narration. Like, that, that's an aspiration of mine just to put out a book, man. Yeah, yeah. That's the aspiration of mind, but it's, it's more like you say, just the consciousness, like you said, just saying, like, as far as the mind, things like that, because I kind of tapped into that, like, as far as, like, being in tune with yourself, being in control of your emotions, things mm -hmm. like that. Just, like, being conscious of who you are. Yes, Simple as that shit. Yeah, definitely. so, the reason I did it, because me becoming a full-time entrepreneur changed my life, you know what I'm saying, like, I was put in a position where I was, you know what I'm saying, fired from my job I had at the time for no reason, no write-ups, no disciplinary action. Got bills to pay, kids to feed, all type of shit, and they 
called me in the back on my day off while I, I called in to pick up a shift on my off day. They pulled me in the back saying they got to let you go. I was like, man, I please need this job. And anyway, long story short, they looked me dead in my eye and said, hey, man, can't do it. Anyway, long story short, I had to figure out a way out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck am I good at? And I'm like, hey, I have been making music throughout the years, hella songs. So I just started picking the hottest songs that I started making throughout the years uh, with the homie, one of my closest partners, you feel me? Uh, we picked out the hottest songs, put it all on CD, on the fucking laptop. That shit took about 15 minutes per CD. But anyway, I spent my last dub uh, after money dwindled down for so long, after not having that yeah. my last dub on some CDs. I could have did anything with that dub. But I'm like, nah, I'm finna bet on me. Did that shit. Pressed up all them CDs. I ain't know where the fuck I was gonna go. Yeah, but anyway, I just went out there. Five years later, I've been paying my bills year round, doing what I love to do, dropping movies, music, and that's why I had to write that book because ain't no better feeling like being able to pay your bills, doing what you love to do, and nobody can fire you. That's the American dream. That's Indeed. the American dream. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be fired, so. It's the gift that keep on giving, and as long as you a righteous intent person, constantly applying pressure, you're going to get what come with it. Are you doing the music? You got the book. Like, what made you get into doing films? Alright, the way I got into films is me doing music. Doing about, like I said, I was doing about two, three shows a night. Mm -hmm. And all over the city, in and out the city, like you know, Troy, Missouri, East Side, St. Louis, Studio 618. But my first big movie, which was STL the movie, like I said, that's the St. Louis Menace to Society. I play the old dog type of vibe. The executive producer to that movie was the host at a lot of clubs I was performing at. Sometimes in the same night, I pull up one club, he there. Kill that shit. I go to another club the same night. He there. That kept happening throughout time. Yeah, throughout really, time, really he, poor. Shit. Yeah, he saw my driving ambition and talent. He like this dude serious about what he got going on. So it's uh, basically one opportunity to meet preparation. He had the script ready. It was about to go down. STL the movie. He saw me. He's like, hey, you should come audition for this role. Then next thing you know, Shoot it, Mofo premiering at the Tivoli Theater, Delmar Loop sold out, mm -hmm. and I'm still eating off of it eight years later. Shit, crazy, bro. Shit, shit dope, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit, crazy, shit bro. Dope, man. Shit, dope. <laughs> yeah. I'll say, even like, like that's dope. That's something like the probably you need to pay down. You, got, you don't know if you got kids or not, but it's something you can pass down to your children, yeah. all type of shit. Yeah, I mean. yeah. and that's. What I do it for, like Dame Dad say, I don't do this for my first name, I do, do it for, for my, my last name. name on me. And that's what it's about. Legacy, longevity, ownership, equity, credit, agriculture, and so much more. And not just externally, internally. It's a, it's a spiritual bank. Internally, yeah. Yes, it's a spiritual bank that we need to know about, that we need to be aware of. Yes, that's it's, there. <laughs> it's great to fill up your pockets in physical bank. But there's also a spiritual bank and the way you fill it up is by righteous intent and giving, actually. Uh -huh. When you're giving, that actually fills feels something that money can't buy. And when you go to sleep at night, you'll see what I'm talking about if you're living like that. Yeah, you gotta be tapped in. You gotta do your, you know, yeah. be in tune with that shit, man. Yeah. Most definitely. Straight up. Hey, you, like, you even did like skits. Like, well, I've seen like a skit you did before. Like, oh, shit. It's, oh shit, it's Shelly. <laughs> it was like a white last battle. It was a parody. She's in the hood. They, they got shot at like, like downtown shit, or something. Yeah. Oh shit, Shelly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's out there shooting, like, hitting licks on me. I'm like, damn, hold on. This white girl like, cold as a month. Like white girl with the bangers. She had a 40 or something just going around hitting straight niggas. Like the. On most, me, the most prissiest white girl you could think of. Just imagine her with a fat ass forty, 
going around hitting dice games, oh, trap houses. Smacking nigga all the type of shit. <laughs> you hear me scared? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, her name's Shelly, and every time uh, she pull up, like, nigga, where my money? Well, she ain't say nigga, but she yeah. that energy. Like, nigga, where my money at? And then we like, oh, shit, it's Shelly. So really? it's all in comedic fun. That was created. They like some, they like Dave Chappelle. They gave him like Dave Chappelle's kid type of vibes on me. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. I was pulled bro. in on that by uh, his, his stage name is G Soldier. His uh, birth name is Lacey Turner. He uh -huh. like make movies. Got a master degree in cinema. Y'all did songs together too before. I mean, yeah, this is my blood brother. Same yeah, mom, different okay. pops. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the talent in the family. Heck yeah, like the whole family. Shoot, me, him, my mom, my pops, long live pops, Parker Bay, uh, my uh, middle brother, because it's three of us. I'm the youngest, like the baby. I'm the baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I got two big bros. And we all dope. We all dope as hell. My middle bro, he engineer. To me, he better than Dr. Dre, and I stand on it. He's a he stand I st <laughs> Man, I fuck with you, Drake. Let's work, man. For real. Fuck with you. Matter of <laughs> fact, need to work with my brother. We all need to work. Network but, uh, shit. Straight up, I fuck with Drake. I ain't even stepping on the toe, but my bro, that dope. I can stand on that shit. My middle bro, not G Soldier. Man. Uh -huh. He dope as hell, too, but my middle bro make That's beats and he rap. Man, we all dope as hell. Like you say, man, I'm writing books, movies, movies. music. All us dope. <laughs> Straight up, we all dope. Speaking now, like, right. like right movie, you see you got the post in the background. Yeah. Hella drove. Talk about that. You wrote that yourself, didn't you? Yeah, straight up got the script in the room right now. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's Hella Drove, the movie. I wrote it, directed it, financed it, cast it, every individual, directed them how they personality supposed to be in the movie. Uh, pretty much masterminded and quarterback the whole demonstration. Only thing I didn't do was hop in a body and act form. You did, but mm -hmm. shout out to the team. The team added their own magic to the uh, process as well because everybody's superstars in their own right, and they all added to the pot. You know, what I'm saying? Look career, straight up, look I'm, I was just the driving force. But you know what I'm saying? I know how to pick them. I picked superstars and they all at it and I whipped that shit up and bam. Got but yeah, Hella Drove the movie. It's a t Hella Drove. That is a term that's from St. Louis, Super St. Louis. I don't think I even I heard it. I like feel stupid. You like, you man, you're dumb ass. Yeah. Type shit. <laughs> People be Hella Drove all the time. And uh, I think I started on this like almost over a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Because like we was talking about earlier, ownership and equity. And me, I'm like, damn, I'm starring in all of these movies. I'm selling them. But I, ain't, I don't own that shit. Get I ain't write it. Yeah. None of that. I'm just starring in. I'm getting paid off this shit. But I don't own it. So throughout time, me want to be a better me at all times. Learn about ownership, equity, and all of that. I started writing my own movie, and I wanted to be different because I'm always playing the super thugged out role, super gangster, just turnt on some old dog shit. Mm -hmm. So I had I want to switch it up. So I said I'm finna do a comedy, and I'm like, all right, since I'm finna do a comedy, how can I start this shit? And I'm like, what's funny when people do hella drove shit? Hella drove, and I'm like. That's it. Hella drove. Hella drove the movie. And I'm like, all right, go. I, I, I got I'm, it. I'm go finesse this. So I just started taking a bunch of hella drove shit I've seen throughout time and putting spans on it. And wrote a dope ass movie. Pick people that's a, this the this the dopest part. Like even working with you uh -huh. right now, like you reminded me that. You supported back in the day, and now we working together right now. That's like a gift they keep on giving. The people Show I pick for this, the people I pick for this movie, supported just like you throughout time, mm -hmm. and stayed down. You know what I'm saying? And for me to be able to be in a position to pick the trail out of my life and put them 
in a movie and not just a, any movie, a dope movie. And I ain't just saying it's dope. I ask people, which I think, movie come and, out. and they get a lot of great feedback. And I'm not just saying that. But to put my people in a dope movie, then on a big screen and in a mall and in front of their family and then that's after dope. it's all over, their family loving it. Man, that's the gift that's they keep dope. on giving. Plus the ownership and equity and all that, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> all right, what I got from the movie is like you say, Hello Drove. Just watch the movie. It was like, um, I said the Hello Drove part was he got finesse. He got finesse. We had um the person who I guess the person who put the head out who wanted the ransom. That was um go I might be saying her name Golden Bay. Golden Bay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she actually reached out to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna link up with her soon. Yeah, All right. yeah. yeah that's got her own little talk show, you know, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. I'm uh, yeah, you know I'm tapped in. <laughs> yeah, right. Most hey, definitely. I saw a lot of your interviews. I'm like, bro, tapped in. That's what I said. <laughs> when I was scrolling, I'm like, yeah, he tapped in. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you see the people I be seeing, like, and I be in the streets. And if you're in the streets, you know I'm in the streets. Type shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, Hella Drove. Like, it's just super funny Hella Drove situations after situations. Like, her part, Goldie, Goldie Baby part. The funny thing about her part is that. The dude wife she supposedly kidnapped, they set the whole thing up. So, man, y'all just gotta look it up. Hell is I'm gonna put you, <laughs> take the link above. Straight up. You hear me? Straight up. Just that part alone is yeah. hella funny. That was a dope movie. <laughs> shit. Then, shit. You got the, um, Plastic Dreams. Yeah. Rucker Puff. Yeah. STL legend, man. Yes, sir. Like, how how was it? Like, did he, like, did he, like, personally reach out to you? Like, like, what's up, bro? Like, I need you. Yeah, shout out to Zeus. But, yeah, uh, Ruck. I've been knowing Ruck for years. He's been seeing me grinding for years. Uh, for us, just music, movies, all that. And then, like, once again, opportunity, opportunity meets preparation. And he, uh, had the script ready. He reached out to me, like, hey, bro, I got a role specifically for you no audition and none of that and uh you know sent me the roles to over time we got it filmed packaged up premiered in the gallery mall on the big screen and that shit was crazy it premiered right before the pandemic like the timing is oh, everything man. Yeah, you know time, man. it was right before everything shut down i think it was like a little bit after 314 day or some shit but uh, it was right at the. It was right before, before shit everything down. shut down. So that was so dope, bro. Like straight up, that shit was so dope. We got that in. It was definitely shit. I said like, yo, carry the little money, man. It's, man, this nigga, man. This nigga, slime I was mad watching that shit like this, man. This nigga, get this nigga, kill that nigga, get this nigga out of here. Slime ball, hey man. Scan that St. Louis back door ass. <laughs> Trip. A two plastic dreams movie, straight up. Uh, hey, yeah, look, money. That character right there. Matter of fact, let me break down plastic dreams. It's about this middle-aged dude that want to quit his job to become a famous entertainer. The way he plan on being successful, he gonna fake it till he make it. He actually make it by faking that shit. But since he faked it, his foundation is built on lies and deceit and easily torn down. So. He blow up at the record label. I'm the top dog of, and I don't like that. So I'm trying to find any flaw. SB, you feel? You he turned up out that murder boy. Yeah, Actually, uh, he, you heard SB. <laughs> what, who he murdered? Are you um, that, the white dude? Yeah, we're trying to, you know. Yeah, yeah. you're your nigga. You're him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I'm know the white dude. Right, okay. Right. I, I, I sent I sent my hitman. <laughs> plastic dreams, you know. I put that bag on his head. <laughs> That's crazy. I put that bag on. He went the bed. from a conscious rapper to a gangster rapper. Shit, crazy. That nigga went from rap rapping about staying in school to killing and shooting him up, bang, bang. On that me. would be hilarious, straight up. Big Money Records turned them up, man. Straight up. Hey, and I was the top. That's, 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 rap, that's the rappers nowadays, though. A lot of them. That's, that's the average motherfucker who come from being a schoolboy to want to be a street nigga. Niggas can't just be themselves. True. They go outside of just the rap shit. 
Man, that's been that way. Check this out, man. You want to get deep with that shit? You say, hey. I go deep with that you shit. Might, man, man. You might, you might have to, you know. Breaking you might labels in the prison industry, all that shit is intertwined, bro. Like, they got, record labels got stocks in prison, and prison got stocks in record labels. So a lot of these are created players, you know what I'm saying, to promote a certain way of living to make His agenda. the impressionable minds think that is the way to success. The reason I know, because I used to be one of those impressionable minds until I fucking grew up like, I was bamboozled. He said, you, way, you tricked me. I thought I could drink syrup and become successful. He said, like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Try that game, motherfucker. Lil Wayne. I'm still a fan of Lil Wayne. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm a major fan of his work ethic, his bars, all that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But yeah, that's just what it is. But hey, uh, all that shit intertwined. But it ain't completely convoluted. You know, we got them diamonds in the rough like J. Cole. And more definitely, who just keep you know beat themselves. Top saying the go out YC Bay or He say, hey, keep tapped in, man. <laughs> keep working, keep working. I would say, shit, we're closing out here, man. You got any words of advice you'd like to give anybody? Any like any words of encouragement, inspiration, anything? Oh, uh, shoot, man. Keep grinding. Be the architect of your life. If you fail to plan you plan to fail life is literally what you make it we are all a sum total of all the choices we made up into this very moment and if you ain't liking where you at at this very moment if you alive there is hope because all you got to do is keep all you got to do is make rich decisions and if you make poor decisions, you're going to be poor with a poor reality. You make rich decisions, you're going to be rich with a rich reality. And rich ain't just money. It's internally and externally. The only way you get rich externally and appreciate the external, external richness is if you're rich and wealthy on the inside. So, with that being said, period, dot, exclamation point is the God, YC Bay. You dig, do you goos, tap in, and that's what the fuck going on, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let the people know where they can find you at on social media. On all social media platforms, the letter Y, the letter C, the letter B, the letter E, and the letter Y. And Hella Drove the Movie, it is on Fire Stick, it is on Roku, Eclipse TV, it is on YouTube, Google it. It is amazing comedy movie, the best movie that ever come out of St. Louis. Hella drove the movie. Tap in. Shit. Appreciate you, bro. Likewise, man. Views from the arts. Peace.